What up, Heart Squad? I'm here at Best Buy for another episode of No Limit, No Budget Challenge, where I'm gonna go in the store, buy a ton of the newest Pokemon card set, Sword and Shield, and then we're gonna open it. Let's go. We're off to a good start. They literally only had one sword and shield pack. And if this is gonna be a no limit, no budget challenge, we gotta go big. I've already gone to over four other Best Buys in the Metroplex. All equally had nothing. There's only one place that can redeem us. Well, that was something different. They actually carted me because I was buying the most Pokemon cards that store has ever seen. <laughs> carting for alcohol? Nah, it's carting for Pokemon cards. <laughs> and we're back in the studio. If y'all can hit that thumbs up button, Heart Squad, let's get this video to 7,000 likes. I know you can do it because y'all have been doing it. Y'all have also, for the question of the day, let me know the next place you want me to go in the comment section below for a chance to have your comment futured. So let me know next place you want me to go, but let's get into this big sword and shield opening. If you saw the video from last Friday, and it should be in the eye, I pulled a certain gold legendary Pokemon card. Okay, I'll just say it. I pulled a golden Zamazenta card. Very, very difficult to pull the gold card, but we did it. Of course, Zacian gold card, secret rare quick ball, basically any form of Zacian I'll take. Psychic energy, I think I've already done my quota of spitting everywhere for this, but uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. It's just so unfortunate that Best Buy, for all the locations that I went to, just had nothing it was really really depressing but thank goodness there's walmart and thank goodness there's online dreadnought reverse rare and a stonejourner v stonehenge v so we uh what's it called so yeah it, it, you can go online best buy it's now done the deal but a couple days ago there were certain sun and moon themed boxes that were only $10 online at Best Buy. They're sold out now. However, it was uh, Leaf Energy. It was actually an incredible deal because those boxes usually go for $30 and they had them marked down, you know, clearly because they were wanting to get rid of them uh, for $10. They were not in stores, obviously. Uh, there's a grandpa, the grandpa, but they were online and y'all like went full for, I didn't get any of them because I just wanted y'all to get them. Plus, I honestly, I, did you see today's video? No limit, no budget challenge. Really have too many packs. 
but I'm gonna keep on trying to do it. Uh, so far, I've been doing it every single week. I've already gone to Target, uh, Walmart twice now, and uh, what was it called? Well, I guess Best Buy now, so I don't know how many, oh, GameStop. I went to GameStop for one of them as well, too. There's Ponyta, there is the coin. I'm gonna set that over here. Let's get into these packs. And uh, I've been doing it every single week. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, please do consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. I usually post videos 1 p.m. Just letting everybody know 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's 2 Eastern uh, Metal Energy. And uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays at 1 p.m. is when you can expect videos. There should be no less than five videos a week. Sometimes there are more. Rhyperior and a Snorlax. By the time this video is up, because I'm recording it just a couple days ahead of time, um, we should be probably less than 1,000 subscribers away from hitting 800,000 subscribers, guys. Like, that's a pat on back. Give yourselves a pat on back for us almost reaching 800,000. Rest in peace, fairy energy, dark energy. Uh, I still am coming up with something I'm gonna do for it to celebrate. It's gonna be massive, it's gonna be crazy, and it's likely gonna be this Saturday. So whatever happens, get ready this Saturday or Sun, most likely Saturday, but uh, it, this weekend, we are gonna do some celebrating, more so than pulling a Cinderace holographic, but uh, celebrating in honor of reaching 800,000. And yeah, I know YouTube's not the same as it used to be regarding subs, but for me, it's still an accomplishment. People still have to go and press the subscribe button. So it's like, it's still a massive accomplishment for us as a community. We are we are more than a channel, we are a community, and a community, man, I completely botched that up. I. Just uh, gonna take a little moment of silence for me botch botching that up. <laughs> we are more than a channel, we are a community. And uh, well, community we are of almost 800, that was, that was terrible. Let's get into an elite trainer box. Of oh, like 800,000 guys, that's absolutely mind, cra that's mind boggling crazy. It's a lot of people. That's bigger than some towns, cities. Eventually we'll hit a million in about five-ish months. And uh, the celebration for that is gonna be something you have never seen before. It's gonna be so big and crazy. I just hope y'all stick around for it uh, because it's it's just gonna be absolutely crazy. So this is an Elite Trainer Box and uh, let's see what we can do in this. Hopefully we get another gold card um, at this point. Uh, not high hopes, but you never know, you never know. All right, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go with Dark Energy. I feel like I owe it to metal and dark energy for all of y'all that have been leaving comments saying, this is your daily reminder to say metal and dark energy. And that is what I shall do. Ordinary rod and a noctowl. But uh, obviously uh, this is all sword and shield packs today. In the past, I did get some unbroken bonds and cosmic eclipse. Uh, don't worry guys, I have not given up the hyper rare Reshazard search fighting energy. Um, lots of Unbroken Bonds openings to come. Uh, I don't know when. They could be this week, and they may be this week. You never know. But we'll eventually pull it, just like this Victini V Ultra Rare card. So, overall, we have pulled a few Ultra Rare, or a couple Ultra Rares so far in this opening. Really hoping we can uh, step it up, but more on the whole Best Buy fiasco. Uh, fire energy. Oh, I was I was this close saying fighting energy. Uh, so I went to several locations, and each of them had basically nothing. They've all had like it was so random. I and obviously I only got one pack from of Sword and Shield from uh, what's it called? Oh, I thought I had it separated somewhere. I swear I had the one pack of Sword and Shield that I bought from Best Buy. I was gonna separate it for y'all. Hey, it's Torkoal. He's got the good stuff. So another V Ultra Rare card. And uh, just to see if that one pack that I got at Best Buy had something special in it. I kind of wanted to get, wasn't there like Burning Shadows packs? It's so random. There's Burning Shadows packs at some of the Best Buys that I went to, Lightning Energy. But uh, it's just one time I got those before and they were just repacks. So you gotta be careful with those. Uh, Cause the Hyper Rare Charizard from Burning Shadows is actually still quite a pricey card. 
more pricey than the hyper rare Reshazard. But to me, the hyper rare Reshazard is absolutely priceless. By the time of this video, I've probably opened up getting close to 4,000 packs of Broken Bonds. Uh, and, you know, I have not pulled the hyper rare Reshazard. I also, Lightning Energy, I also have not pulled the hyper rare Blastoise from Unbroken Bonds. Like, how crazy is that? So it's not just the Charizard, it's also the Blastoise, which right now, that card is not even worth that much, the Blastoise. So it's just like, but to me, it's really, really priceless because I haven't pulled it yet. Uh, but, but rest assured, Heart Squad, everybody across the world, Fire Energy. Um, I'm not giving up on it. I'm also not giving up on the Cosmic Eclipse one. I will be continuously opening up packs of both sets until we pull some gold. Corviknight's Stonjourner VMAX. Very, very nice. So this is a textured card. I think it's only worth maybe five-ish dollars, but it's very, very cool. Um, like I said before, any version of Sashian, even the ultra rare version, which at the time of my recording this video, is going for around $32 for an ultra rare. That's how powerful that card is, lightning energy, and how... Well, at least this is, I believe, the first time pulling bead, so we'll just, uh... I tell you, like, we have a lot to open still, and... I just can tell you right now, we're probably gonna pull another Hyper Rare or Full Art Bead. It's just gonna happen, and I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for it, and it just isn't working. It just isn't working. Uh, but let's, but all it takes is one amazing pull, even getting Fire Energy, even getting a Full Art Marnie, which is basically, as far as prices goes, the same as pulling a Hyper Rare, but I've already pulled Full Art Marnie twice. I'm definitely gonna be excited if we pull the Hyper Rare version. Sandaconda! It seriously looks like he's just vomiting sand everywhere. It's a really funny card, but that was the Elite Trainer Box. Uh, I'll show you the pulls. Overall, for like, Ultra Rare purposes, um, they're decent. Nice VMAX, Stonjourner, Torkoal's got the good stuff, Holographic. We've only pulled two Hollows, so I'll take that. But let's get some great value Pikachu action. There's more Peko. Um, but uh, hopefully, in my luck, with these three pack blister packs, our abyss is really bad, just terrible. But, you know, I can't really control myself when you do the No Limit No But Challenge, especially when there's so much surplus of goods to be purchasing. You kind of just reach and grab it, and at the end of the day, it's just whatever's in the cart, it's in the cart. So, fighting energy. And, uh, well, technically, I do have my own volition of grabbing whatever I want to grab, but it's like, they were just so enticing, the three-pack blister packs. Eventually, I'll pull something from it, but not this time. Scorch is the non-holographic card. Uh, more so on videos for this week, there is going to be vintage openings this week. There are going to be, grammar-wise, new Pokemon cards obviously opened. Lightning. Have we not gotten the guessing energy? There's gonna be a lot, there's like some big mystery boxes coming this week, which I don't even know how amazing these boxes are going to be. It, it's just gonna be a good old Regirock V. It's just gonna be a good old fun time here, and I really do, oops, I was about to grab one of these, and I was like, okay, got one pack left. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. Hopefully y'all stick around. Definitely, guys, uh, let's get this video to 7,000 likes, so hit that thumbs up button. Y'all have been crushing the like goals. Y'all have been showing up watching the videos, and I couldn't be more grateful for that, for this absolutely fire energy. Incredible community. Salazzle, uh, Doug Trio, Pokemon Center, R Lady, Great Value Squirtle, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Clabapus, and it's Raichu, the Never Give Up Raichu. I do have to say, like, kudos to the Never Give Up Raichu. Y'all love the Never Give Up Raichu. You always remind me when times are dark, or when I opened up a bunch of different Broken Bonds packs and have still not pulled that Charizard, to never give up, because that's what Raichu says. Never give up, never surrender. Leaf energy, and I'll never give up this guessy energy. We haven't gotten one yet. And I've been doing well at it too, but just not so far today. 
Maractus, Mudpray, Pontiard, Scorbunny, Sil... and an Inteleon. The new Galar Partner tins came out last week. And uh, let's get into three pack, blister pack. And uh, they're pretty cool. They have the Inteleon, Rillaboom, and Scorbunny holographic cards. Excuse me, not holographic cards, the ultra rare cards that come with the tins. And uh, those are pretty cool. My pulls were decent. I think, was it that way we got like a secret rare? I think we got a secret rare from Sword and Shield in it. It was pretty cool. It's my first time pulling it. Oh, now I'm thinking of the card. It was a nice card for sure. Uh, lightning energy. Uh, but still, holding out hope for this opening with all the stuff we still have to open. Uh, that we're gonna pull something incredible. We did pull the VMAX earlier, but I'm still hoping. There's a rare candy and Sinchino. Nose goes for that. Uh, let's continue on. Pokemon Day was this past weekend, and one of the videos that I did uh, for Sunday's video a couple days ago, Fire Energy, I um, went to GameStop and Best Buy, and they actually had for Pokemon Day a little trade and play event, and they gave out these booster packs, Cinderace, uh, called the Trade and Play Fun Kits, and I opened a few of them to see, because they actually had cards in it, and they were free, and y'all probably, even now, can still call up your GameStops and Best Buys, see if they have any of those left, because there was a lot left at mine. Granted, I thought both companies, Lightning Energy, did an absolute abysmal job of letting people know about the events. I did what I could. I told everybody on my socials, which y'all should be following, links in the description, and uh, y'all thankfully were able to go and get some. Cramorant V. Full art card, has that dumbfounded look on its face, but uh, not too crazy rare of a card because I have pulled it before. Let's get into another Elite Trainer Box because I have so many of these. <laughs> I'm obviously not gonna get to everything today because I, tr I try to keep the videos, like I've said before, to around half an hour long because just any longer, people just start kind of fading away. Um, and then I incorporate all the rest of the stuff in other openings and stuff. But we still got lots to go in today's opening, so don't go nowhere, guys, because it's only a matter of time. There's that. It's only a matter of time before we just pull something absolutely phenomenally amazing. But it takes faith in never giving up, like Raichu says. Fire energy. All right, Lucky Egg, Dubwool, Doug Trio, Rhyhorn, Mancino, The Chin, Krogunk, Meowth, Toxicroak is a reverse rare, and a Drapion. All righty then. Next pack, let's get in here. Uh, as far as like what happened at the trade and play event when I went, I actually went towards the latter part of it at Best Buy Fire Energy. And there was apparently a rep from Nintendo there, but she had just set up like a Nintendo Switch to play. And then there was like a team from Best Buy that set up all the cards. And it was kind of funny because there was an employee there that had no idea about Pokemon at all. And he was in charge of giving out the packs as well as he had a binder full of commons, uncommons, and that's it, of cards from Sword and Shield, Lightning Energy, to give away to people, or excuse me, to trade with people. And he was uh, saying, you can trade a common for a common card, uncommon for an un and I was just like, okay, well then, I'm just here for the packs. There was no one else there. Sobble, Hemor, and another Victini V. Um, but it was cool that these stores do these types of events like they did last year. The only thing is, I really wanted to get it on a bigger scale to where it like was when I was growing up and you would go to the mall or Toys R Us and the events were the, like a league where you would get these little badges, which I still have one on my shelf, um, lightning energy, and you would collect all the badges and you would show them off to your friends. They were really, really cool because they were like the actual badges from like the Kanto League and stuff. It was cool. Um, that's what I wanted to get to again. And don't worry guys, as like the representative for the Pokemon card community and in talks with Pokemon itself, I, uh, I try to convey my thoughts and y'all's thoughts as well that you share with me to them, uh, fire energy. And the funny thing is like, they actually like, like they're interested in listening, which is so awesome on their part for such a big company. They really are interested in listening. And 
Um, so that's why I'm like always wanting to listen to y'all's ideas on what we can improve to help make the Pokemon TCG even bigger. And one of the things I've always wanted to do was from the competitive video get people that play the Game Boy games, that's where primarily lightning energy. Have I just said lightning energy this entire time? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Because I'm trying to talk at the same time, but uh, obviously most people play the Game Boy game. Game Boy games. Starting off from the Game Boy games to now the Nintendo Switch. Those are the most popular and then it's the Pokemon TCG. So it's like, can wow. Is this my first time pulling Team Yelgrunt full art? I wish I had somebody that's being like, yep, yep, that would be it. But seriously, that's a really gorgeous looking card. I have pulled the hyper rare version of this, so I do know that. However, I always love the full art versions more simply because it's like the actual color of the characters. So very, very nice team Yell Grunt full art, which may be my first time pulling it, but um, I want to get more like people from the other communities interested in the Pokemon TCG because it seriously is so much fun, especially when you pull the card that you want to pull. Fire energy. I said something different. It really gets you screaming like crazy. And that's what's so fun about it. Yes, it's very expensive. I will admit that. Uh, Galarian Obstacles. The first one of the day. Wow. We'll get like 20 more. Um, but, you know, whatever ideas y'all have and feel free to share them in the comment section. You know, I'm down. I'm down for it. So try to make the Pokemon TCG as big and healthy as possible. Fire energy. It would be lightning energy now. It would be lightning energy now. Dubwool, Kufant, Ball Toy, Salandit, Ponyta, Mancino, and well, we did get the team Yell Grunt, so there is that. We have so many of these single blister booster packs that I really it's just it's like such a waste that they have the wood like the, the wood. They have the cardboard covering on it. It's just like lots of extra time to get into those, which is why I don't go for those as much. Fire energy. Okay. Just gonna get... Just gonna do that to me. Fine. Hitmon Bruce Lee. Wooloo. Joltik. Shallad. Clobopus. Ghastly. Indeedy V. Also known as Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic. All right, I really do want to get into these. These have actually been very, very welcoming. When I did my No Limit, No Budget Challenge at GameStop the other week, I uh, had amazing pulls. It was really crazy how you go from Target, which gave terrible pulls, uh, and then the same these were giving great pulls. Not saying lightning, not saying fire, I'll say leaf. Hey, it's metal. So it's like, this is actually, well, We've opened up a lot today, and we've gotten some nice pulls, but nothing too, too crazy yet. Nine Tails, Galarian, Perserker, Non-Holographic. All right, enough of those. We have more Blister Booster Packs to get into, because we also have lots of those. And in hopes of pulling something nice. Oh, there goes PSAs for those. All right. Why is every pack I grab, they're all upside down right now? Stop that. I command me. Oh, my my uh, case down there where I throw all the stuff. Lightning energy is getting full. All right. Pokemon Catcher. Haunter. Chinchow. Krabby. Min. Ponyta. Cottony. Galvantula. And a Cramorant. Just a Cramorant. Nothing, nothing special there. Ooh, I'm going to get into another Elite Trainer Box after this. It's calling our names. It's calling our names, Hard Squad. L Lightning energy, fine. Raboot, Sudoodoo, Scorbunny, Celicobra, Yamper, Hashtag Grookey Gang, Rotom, and a Cloister. Told you, these three-pack blister packs. How come y'all message me and you're like, look what I just got from a three-pack blister pack, and then you pull it. Like, Azashi and Gold Carter, two of them, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Dark energy, yes. I resoundingly, if that was the word, Pats on back. Yes. Hitmon Jackie Chan, Seeking, Silicobra, Min, Vulpix, Mana, Roselia, and Kevin Durant. All right. Let's get into this. This is obviously an elite trainer box. Uh, the amount of excess elite trainer boxes is now staggering. But then again, 
all the bulk I put in these. So it kind of is helpful in that regard. And then, as y'all have asked before, what do I do with all my bulk? I give it to charity, like Toys for Tots. Wow, this is already open. Good quality there. That's just quality stuff there. So I'll put this over here. Um, let's... I'm not feeling too optimistic right now. If there was a Raichu that says never give up, I would like to pull it about now. I'll even take the non-holographic one to remind us. Lightning energy. See? This is what happens. No beat. No more beat. Joltik, Salandit, Clavapus, Ghastly, Quickball, yay! And a Roserade non-holographic. No, there. Tired of that. All right, now we're back. See, we're back and we're good. All right, I told you this Elite Trainer Box had our names on it. Uh, Psychic Energy, I'm gonna make my call for this pack. Uh, what am I, we're, we're gonna pull Full Art Zacian, which is currently worth, worth $45. And it looks really cool. Ponyta. Eric Bolton. Holographic. You are just dandy today. So there goes my call. There goes my call. But you at home can put your calls in. And don't forget, guys, not only hit that thumbs up button. Let me know the next place you want me to go by commenting it for a chance to have your comment featured. Lightning Energy in the same video or in the next video. Not the same. That would be crazy. Nick, Baltoy, and Stonger. Man, the cards are so slick. We're just opening up so many. <laughs> it gets your hands really dry. And you just go through the cards fast. All right. Uh, I'll say fire energy for this. How have we only gotten, and I know there's people that fact-checked out there, one guess the energy in today's video after doing so well. Pinkerchin, Vulpix, Nick, Baltoy, Scroopy, and a... Anchor V. Well then. All right, so uh, this Elite Trainer Box so far has not promised us what it was supposed to be have promised. Okay. Uh, what have I not said? Water energy. Okay. At this point, you just got to keep on going and hope. Rookity, Krabby, Grookey, Mudbray, Hoot, and Thievil Non-Holographic. All right, Elite Trainer Box, come on, do your stuff. Four cards, Leaf Energy. Fighting Energy, that's fine. What have I also have not said? I think I've said everything now. Rhyhorn, Rookity, Krabby, Hashtag Rook Gang, Mudbray, Dreadnought. There it is! It's still, even though it doesn't say it there. Never give up, never surrender. There's the great philosopher Raichu Felonius said, and that's what it will continue to do. All right, um, psychic energy. See, it's every time it's fire and lightning when you call something else. Cottony, great value squirtle, Rhyhorn, Zacian V. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally, we got a Big pull, currently worth around $32, and it looks cool because it's a dog with a sword. Dagu has been pulled, Zashian V. All right, all right. It was that right after we had just pulled the right, you guys? I'm telling you something special about the philosopher. Was it Raichu Felonius? <laughs> That's his name. Psychic energy. All right, that actually really picked up the mood a little bit here. Ponyta, Sable, Maractus, Mudbray, Ponyard, and there goes the mood with that. All right, let's get into another three-pack blister pack with my little Ponyta on the inside. Well then, that is clearly not the right side to open this up. See, there's like a magical side to each of these three-pack blister packs that just makes it much, much easier to open than the other. But all right, I don't know how many three-pack blister packs we've opened up. Maybe three or four? And we, I think it was four. And I don't think we've gotten anything out of any of them. Uh, water energy. Uh, so let's hope the tide changes. See what I did there? Water energy, tide, okay. Gossip Floor, Silicobra, Yamper. Great value, Pikachu. More Peko V. Only worth a few dollars, but it is, uh, it's a V Ultra Rare card, and it's been a while since we pulled one, so 
Next up, next up, read all about it. Four cards, Metal Energy. Yeah, Pat's on back. Very, very happy about that one. I think that's like two out of a thousand packs right now. For the Guess the Energy, Shelter, Krogunk, Mana, in a Cloister. All righty then. Sword and Truth. Next up, read all about it. Uh, this is the three-pack blister pack, so I think gave us one V-Ultra Rare card. Fire Energy. Heat more. Drizzle. Mawa. Sable. Maractus. Mudbray. Air Balloon. Man, I have to say, it is very, very difficult to pull a Rainbow Hyper Rare in this set, man. Alrighty then, let us get into this pack. There is the code. I'll say Psychic Energy, and Dottler, Corvus Squire, Great Ball, Snom, Grookey, Shelder, Mawile, Ponita. And there we go, guys. Uh, check out more videos over there. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.